Within the borderland city of El Paso, it resonates with entertainment and music of different genres. The style and liveliness of music is heard throughout the city. From radio systems to venues, it entertains the people of the city. Though some musicians are starting their first steps into this route, it can also form a bond and synchronizations within their style, creating new music possibilities and ideas. Like Angel and I, Rudolfo Urias, our grandfather, was a musician as well. During his youth, he would play the guitar to his family and to others, but as time went on and the years rolled by, he had stopped playing the guitar and is only remembered through memories of his family. Hello, my name is Edward Reyes and I am a musician here within El Paso and a YouTube student as well taking classes for digital media productions. My name is Angel Garduño and I guess I, I love to play guitar, that's about it. I mean, I go to UTEP, I, I, have, I have a lot of dreams that I want to accomplish, but mainly what my focus is on right now is school. Basically, I started off like back within middle school. Um, Basically, like before that, I would just be like doing. I've actually been within like music, uh, either taking orchestra, band, pretty much class classes like that. But I don't know. It never really stuck out to me how like how guitar has pretty much. Ever since like starting that class, like with guitar and back in seventh grade, it's just stuck out with me, and it's been with me throughout this whole time since 2007, and then now 2023, yes. So yeah, I also look like with my cousin Angel, he's, he's, he's a really good musician as well. Like, I, I even still like remember like the, the first time that he had started, I guess like he was also like within middle school. I've been playing the guitar since, since I was in sixth grade, man. Since I, one of my teachers, Mr. Peña, he was one of the most patient teachers that I've ever had. And he's, he's inspired me a lot. He's, he was really patient with all the students. He had that, that charismatic presence to him. And it just really helped um, develop the skills and want to learn more. He even got like his first guitar and even like I, I even still like remembered him like uh, his uh, his mom had even like reached out to me like saying like hey uh, if you want if you're like on your free time you could even give him like free like practice lessons as well like definitely and I was like sure yeah I'll be able to. <laughs> Some of my influences that has influenced uh, me to play the guitar. Um, some of my favorite bands so uh, probably have to be like Fleetwood Mac, Boston, uh, Rush, and some some newer bands as well. Uh, newer rock. Um, I'll say uh, Foo Fighters, Breaking Benjamin, uh, Creed, Alter Bridge, and um, I guess like there's just like a lot of more, but yeah. You took my love and I took it down You climbed the mountain and you turned around Then you see my reflection within these So covered hills Till the last light brought it down My biggest influences for rock, I gotta say my top one is, it's always been Metallica. That's always been my favorite band. I've always, uh, as of high school, one of my friends, Steven, he showed me a band named Dokken and ever since, I've just fell in love with the guitar tone of George Lynch and, and also Van Halen, you know, Megadeth. I've been playing this in a minute, but this, I, if I remember, it goes like this.
Yeah, man. That's that's what I remember from playing that. It's been a minute. It's been a long time. I don't know. Just like, go for it. I mean, what do you think about this guitar, man? I mean, it's fucking cool. It's freaking cool, man. <laughs> More than cool. This is family right here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty much like. Um, well, I mean, like this had begun. Well, it's like with our grandfather's uh, guitar. Uh, pretty much like this. Um, this was pretty much his, um, and it has been through like over the years, just like a lot of stuff. Yeah. With it. But yeah, I mean, it's just been uh, pretty much like the story of how I even like found this. Um, mm -hmm. It was like one day when I was like uh, visiting, yeah, my grandmother. Um, pretty much uh, we, well, I had was just like looking around like one of the rooms, and I think like. All of a sudden, like, I think, like, I was just, like, looking around, like, the back. Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, I just found this. Uh, I even still remember, like... It was just like, there, or what? Yeah, it was just, like, there, literally. Oh, um, it was just hidden, pretty much. Um, it was just, like, underneath, like, all of this stuff. And then, like, all of a sudden, I like, was just, like, looking around through it. Mm -hmm. And I just found it there. That's cool. And pretty much, like, it wasn't even, like, all, like... Some, some of the stuff right here, I even had to, like change it out you especially change? the tunings all the be tuning pegs because like even a funny story with this um first time i even tried to even move the originals yeah it broke automatically for real <laughs> yes yeah. yeah that's how old these uh <coughs> pegs were like they did you easily... change this whole thing or just the pegs um everything although yeah okay everything was like pretty much like changed out yeah was there problems with the nut or the bridge? Mm, this one's probably gonna need to be fixed up. I still need to fix it. What does it more. need? Uh, I guess like with the other strings that it was on, yeah. uh, it completely uh, angled it in a weird way. Yeah. But I mean, pretty much it's just um, it still plays and everything. Like everything is still functioning. Um, okay. I had also even put out the new strings as well, and it sounds even much more great. I mean, just nice. listen to the sound. Dude, I've noticed, like, Absolutely. even when it was just, like, it's just had one string, and, like, one string like that, mm -hmm. like, the wood, it just, like, resonates so well. Mm -hmm. It's like, bing, it's like, bing. Look, here's this one. It's like, you could like, feel the whole bass on the whole thing. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know what type of wood that is because I don't know. I'm not no luthier. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what's so. up. Yeah. But I mean, what I know about it is that, well, at least what my mom tells me, she's like, she's like, oh, yeah, like, grandpa and grandma, which, I mean, I call my grandma mother. So, yeah. her, him and mother, they would sit outside and then he would play the guitar and then she would sing. Mm -hmm. Do you know about that or not? Yeah, I've heard stories about that. It was like, <clears throat> pretty much like back when, well, I guess like when they first started talking about him, yeah. like playing the guitar and everything, mm -hmm. like they would like say that um, he would play the guitar and like what you said, uh, yeah, uh, Mother would uh, sing as mm -hmm. well. Um, Apparently she was be like, ooh, like yeah. that type of stuff. I was like, what the hell? It's like, I okay. wish there was like any photos of that, but unfortunately. There's nothing, dude. Oh, nothing. nothing. At all. There's yeah. no picture of this dude even playing the guitar, huh? Rise. 
here, the two cousins carry on the torch and talents of him and carry on the musical legacy to future generations to come, inspiring others to pick up an instrument to play and live out their own legacy. (laughs) 